All right, so we're doing exercise 7c, and in this video, I'll be answering question 1d, which says, find the equation of the image of the graph y equals the square root of x when each of the following sequences of transformations have been applied. And what we've been given is a reflection in the x-axis followed by a dilation of factor 2 from the y-axis. So there are two ways of approaching this. The first way is by inspection. And the other way is I'm calling it by the method. This is what the textbook calls it. So this is kind of the formal way you should go about solving this. And this is really what you need to be able to master. But let's go through by inspection. And that's really just looking at it and just knowing what the answer will be. So this comes with practice. So we're starting with y equals the square root of x. Then we're going to apply a transformation. So First, we are going to do a reflection in the x-axis. Now, when I'm reflecting in the x-axis, that means my negative will be on the outside of the square root. Let's now go to the next transformation, which will be a dilation of a factor of 2 from the y-axis. So what that is going to be, because I am dilating from the y-axis, it's going to affect things inside my square root. It's going to be affecting the x. And because it's by a factor of 2, what that actually is going to mean is going to be 1 half x. Oh, that's an ugly x. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why isn't it just 2? If it's dilated by a factor of 2, why can't I just write a 2 there? Why is it a half? So if you are confused, don't worry. We're now going to go through this method, which is going to explain why. All right. So in our first step, so our by the method has three steps. We're going to find the image then rearrange, and then replace. So the first one, find the image. What does that mean? Well, we know that we have the original point x, y, which is just going to be a point which lies on our original graph y equals the square root of x. And what we're trying to find is the new point. So after the transformation has, applied, has gone through, after we've applied the transformation, we're going to arrive at a new point. And we want to figure out what this new point is. So let me write this out again. So we have the original point, then we're going to apply the transformation. So we're going to do a reflection in the x-axis. So what that's going to mean is I'm going to take my y and put a negative in front of it. Because think about it, if I'm reflecting it in my x-axis, that's going to change all my y values. And we're also going to do a dilation of a factor of 2 from the y-axis. So that means I'm going to be basically doubling all my x values. So it's going to be 2x. I'm taking all my x's and timesing them by 2. So that means at the end of this step, what we've figured out is that my new x spot is going to be 2x and my new y spot is going to be negative y. So that is how we do the first step. So we just found the image. So I take that and I bring this over here. Nice. Next thing that we want to do is rearrange this so I have x equals and y equals. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to get x dash over 2 equals x. And then here, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So I'm going to get negative y dash equals y. Next, I'm going to put these values into this. So we know that we started off originally with this. Now to find our newly transformed equation, what I'm simply going to do is put in our transformed point. So we know what it will be for y. y my y will be negative y dash. So I'm going to get negative y dash. And we know what x will be. x will be x equals x dash over 2. So I'm going to get this. x dash over 2. Now I'm going to rearrange so I have nothing in front of my y. So it's going to be y equals negative square root of x over 2. And that is going to be your answer. So hopefully that explains why. And obviously this is the same as that. So you can see why it's 1 over 2x, which is the same as that. Now obviously you're going to be able to gain the inspection skills and be able to do it this way just the more times you've seen it. So I've been, I'm able to do it because I've seen these questions thousands of times and I know that's what it's going to look like. And the more you do these questions and the more you practice, the more you'll do be able to do it by inspection. But importantly, it's so very important that you know how to do it this way, especially in the test. 
this is going to be crucial to be answering those really hairy questions. Hopefully this video helped in answering this question.